Okay, so we've just finished setting up the company settings in QuickBooks Online, and now we're going to set up our chart of accounts. So if you want to know how to set up a chart of accounts, keep watching and let's go do it. To start setting up your chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online, you go to Accounting, Chart of Accounts, and then let's check which accounts are already here. See, the thing is, QuickBooks pre-populates a lot of the accounts already, so this is why you actually should make a lot of these accounts inactive, because you don't use all of it. So, let's see what we just make inactive, so that we don't need Okay, so you can see here that I made a lot of the accounts inactive. Those were just the accounts that QuickBooks kind of made for you based on the industry that you said you were in. Um, and all of these accounts are the ones that we're actually going to use. But there are some accounts that we need to use that are still missing here. So we definitely had to add those so like in our previous slide that you could see in our chart of accounts there was an account called telephone and internet expense so to make an expense account all you have to do is click new account type expense and then i would kind of put it under utilities and just name it as telephone and internet expenses and I like to use sub accounts. This is just a personal preference. So you can click save and close already, and you can see that it would be here. And then under here, detail type, it would say utilities. But me personally, I like to use sub accounts and put this under utilities, save and close. And you see here now it's indented under utilities. Um, personally, I just like to do that. You can choose to do it or not. It's up to you. As I said, telephone and internet expenses are here, but we still have five other expense accounts. So for the software subscriptions expense, the detail type is under dues and subscriptions. And all you need to do to make this expense account would be like you and then account type would be expenses, detail type be juice and subscriptions and then you can just name it software subscriptions expense and then click save and close I'm not gonna do that because I already did that a while ago and it's already here so it's basically the same thing for the rest of the expenses and like this there's already a rent or lease payment expense so I'm just going to click edit and I'm just going to put the name as rent expense and that's it. We already made our expense account. So the next account that we do need to have is a bank account, a credit card account, accounts receivable, accounts payable, owner's equity, owner's drawing, and the income accounts. So let's do the bank and credit card account. First, so just click um, click new, type bank, detail type checking, and then just put checking and click save and close since there's no money there. And then to make a credit card, just click account type, credit card, and then just name it whatever you want to name, and then click save and close. Next one, accounts receivable, just click new. Turned out, oh, there, accounts receivable, and then just click save and close, accounts receivable is there, click new, accounts payable, accounts payable there, click new, and then this is click equity, and then click owner's equity, and then click save and close.
post mine and then click new equity click owners equity and then put owners drawing so we have an owners drawing account and then the next we need to do is the income accounts. So I'm going to just change this from the name sales to service or fee income and then click income. Just take out the description and then click save and post. Click yes. And your income account is now saved over here. So we do have um, three different types of income. As you see in the previous slide in the chart of accounts, so the three types of income we have would be email marketing income, customer service support income, and email and calendar management income. So we're going to make those now. I'm going to click income, service, slash fee income, and then we're going to name it email marketing income. And you can click save and close now, or you can choose to put it under a sub account, which is what I like to do. So under income, and then click save and close. And then we're gonna see it over here. See email marketing income under the main income account. We have to make another one for customer service support income. So income, service, or fee income. And then it's gonna be named Customer service support income sub account. Okay. Now you can see there's going to be two of them under income, and then finally the last one would be the email and calendar management income. So So you can see that the three different types of income are under one income account, a main income account, and then it's broken down to three different types of income. So the reason why I like to do this is because you can see which type of income or which service you provide would be giving you the most amount of income instead of it just being lumped into one main income account and you don't see the breakdown. So this would really, really help you make better business decisions on what type of service to offer or to expand on those type of services since you see which type of service you offer pulls in the most amount of money. And that's it. That's our chart of accounts. So we made a bank account, a credit card, accounts receivable and payable, owner's equity, all the income accounts as well as all the expense accounts that we need. and. You've done it. You've built a chart of accounts. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next videos in our tutorial series here on YouTube. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books and I'm here to help you fix your books. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and ask me your questions and I'll try my best to respond to them. Have a great day, guys. Bye.